a sign of the rapidly changing times in the Horn of Africa. Eritrea's president, Zaya Sefwerki's presence in Mogadishu for talks with the Somali leader, Mohamed Abdullahi. His first ever visit and a continuing attempt to mend what has often been fraught relations between the two countries, following on from Eritrea's own softening stance with its former enemy, Ethiopia. There is much riding on this visit. Past Somali administrations had accused Eritrea of supplying weapons to al-Shabaab. The Eritrean government has repeatedly denied this, saying the accusations were concocted by Ethiopia. But since July this year, both countries said they plan to establish diplomatic relations as ties improved across the Horn of Africa, brought on by Ethiopia's new reformist leader, Abiy Ahmed. The two presidents discussed how to strengthen economic and security cooperation. The Somali government has been campaigning for a lifting of the arms embargo of Eritrea. This visit is also about strengthening the recent transformations in the Horn of Africa countries, Somalia, Ethiopia and Eritrea. Another factor in the talks, the strategic importance of the area. Representatives from six countries bordering the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden met in Riyadh on Wednesday. Saudi Arabia has been seeking an alliance as the area is vital to global shipping and increasingly a contentious issue with regional rivals like Iran, Turkey and Qatar. So far, no agreement has been reached. Meanwhile, President Afwerki's visit come as Somalia's President Abdullahi faced an impeachment motion filed in Parliament last week. One of the grounds for the impeachment is allegations the President secretly signed agreements with Ethiopia and Eritrea. The move failed, trumped perhaps by a desire to transform the state of play in this region that has borne witness to conflicts and the humanitarian devastation they caused. The meeting on Thursday is the third time this year that the leaders will have met and attempt to reset a troubled relationship in a highly tense region. Sonia Gallego, Al Jazeera.